What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Actually Marvel. I'm Adam. We've got a new featurette for Moon Knight with some new posters to look at too. I'm going to break down everything I possibly can in this video. So stick around for that and let's get into it. There's chaos in you. Okay, so right off the bat, we get what I think is one of the coolest clips we've seen so far from this project in my opinion. That mask how it goes over his face, how the suit goes onto him, how he transforms, is one of the smoothest and coolest things I've ever seen. Look at that, even without the mask, his eyes are glowing already, which must mean he's powering up. And then the way that the strips just wrap around his face and then sort of merge into one to create the mask. And then on top of that, the hood just manifests itself out of nowhere. We also get that same clip from Ethan Hawke's character, Arthur Harrow, who is a cult leader. And that's basically all I know about him, really. I think he was a scientist. I'll put his description up here. The fun of Moon Knight is getting introduced to a new superhero in a new world. It's a real legitimate character study. So far, everything we've been shown, it looks like it's being based a lot in Egypt or in the desert, which we know where Mark Spector goes to gain his powers from Khonshu. I can't tell the difference between my waking eyes and dreams. <laughs> All right, so there we can see the British Museum, which we assume is where he works. We've seen that many times in these TV spots and trailers before. Then we get the shot of Mark falling again, which then transitions into a Moon Knight superhero landing. And if you look closely, it's actually not Moon Knight. It is Mr. Knight, who is a different personality of Moon Knight. So Mark Spector has his three personalities, and then Moon Knight has a separate one as well, which is Mr. Knight, who, if you like, is the sort of detective side of him, the strategical side of him. Basically, Mr. Knight is the brains, and Moon Knight is the Braun. And within it all, you have Mark Spector. Moon Knight is a spectacular character. He's got an incredibly unique visual look. Our job was to kind of put a lens on the things that had the most uh, dramatic juice and ultimately take the mental health aspect incredibly seriously. I am Stephen. The way we're tackling the story, we learn about Stephen and then learn about Mark. What's wrong with you, Mark? Why did you call me Mark? and they're the same person. Okay, so here they're talking a bit about his split personalities and how he doesn't really know what's going on himself and how the journey in through discovering those different characters all at the same time through one actor. The tone is like Fight Club meets Indiana Jones. It's a bit dark at times. To tie it into something so vast and supernatural, it's amazing. Thank you. Every aspect of this show has a duality, and we've shifted the paradigm. For me, what's really exciting is that it's totally unpredictable. Okay, so here we can see some more desert imagery. We can see more shots from the museum. But here in this clip, we can see that Konshu is real and Mark is not imagining it or hallucinating it in that elevator scene. And there's some purple light going through the sky, which could be anything. We've had a lot of purple glowy energy stuff throughout the MCU. You can see he's stood on the top of that mountain or that hill with Konshu. Then Oscar Isaac comes on screen and he says that the best thing about this show is that it's unpredictable. Now, that could honestly mean anything. This show looks crazy or already and it looks like it's going to be messing with our heads and it's going to be hard for us to work out what's happening especially with all the split personality stuff while the actual main character is trying to work out what's happening to himself it was a lot of quick clips there and not much to break down but we did get some new footage which was cool to see then at the same time marvel released these character posters as well you can see we have oscar isaac there as mark specter in a hoodie and a jacket looking pretty cool then we get this dope moon knight image where you can see him in full you can see all his outfit and honestly this looks incredible now I know some people are going to go, oh, it's not comic accurate, blah, 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 but it's supposed to adapt to real life. And I think they've nailed it, especially with the Egyptian theme to it and kept that going throughout the suit. Then my favorite of all the images, we get a Mr. Knight poster. Now this character looks sick. And for the time being, I'm going to change it to my profile picture on YouTube because this is just too cool, man. Now the one word I have to describe this is drip. Mr. Knight 
has some serious drip. Look at that suit. At first I thought he was doing the sheesh meme, but no, he's just pulling his sleeves up. Apart from that, these character posters look great. And the series comes out at the end of the month, 30th of March. So we have not long to go now. I can't wait. Let me know how excited you are down in the comments below. And also let me know which character poster is your favorite. Anyways, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Comment thoughts down below. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.